For our patients, our cardiology practices are a critical lifeline. But what happens when a natural disaster suddenly destroys a clinic? In an economically challenged neighborhood where specialized medical facilities are rare, the impact can be huge. August 29th, the hurricane came, the levees burst, and all of the equipment and all the property that I have here can't match the loss of human life, but it was a tremendous... Four years ago, Dr. Keith Ferdinand showed me what Hurricane Katrina did to his cardiology clinic in New Orleans' Ninth Ward. We had everything, uh, nuclear, echo, stress, 15 employee, three board certified cardiologists. How tall was the water? Well, you're looking now, I'd see anywhere here about five and a half feet. Unbelievable. So that means all of your equipment's gone, your records are gone, your billing system is gone. Everything that you need to operate the clinic is gone. You told me that there was something like 30,000 people that left Didn't Ward come back, right? and never came back. Never came I recently back. returned to the Ninth Ward with Keith and talk about the loss of the clinic and how it has impacted his former patients. The building is here, but the heart's gone. So well, what happened? The building is solid. We're not sure what we want to do with it, but to do a small private cardiovascular center yeah. would take, I don't know, close to a million dollars. So what's the new normal for people that have heart trouble here? What, what do they do here in the Ninth Ward? Well, I'm going to show you some things. For one thing, there's uh, St. Cecilia's Clinic. It's the Daughters of Charity. You know, nuns run a tight ship when it comes to the business of medicine. Right. And they took a school, it was a Catholic school and church, and they refurbished it. And it's a very nice primary care center. St. Cecilia's Clinic is a bright spot in an otherwise bleak healthcare landscape. There is simply no inpatient care in the Ninth Ward. Nothing from Canal Street all the way back to the Ninth Ward and further, no inpatient services. Isn't there a Methodist hospital that was down there? Methodist Hospital is in New Orleans East, so it's going this way, which is toward the lake, right. and then further east. It was a major hospital, tertiary hospital, had neurosurgery, angiograms, intervention, bypass surgery, orthopedics, OB, it's closed. They're gonna redo that? Maybe. They're trying. All right. They're trying. Heart patients in the lower ninth ward no longer have easy access to the kind of cardiac care they used to receive before Katrina. Where's Willie hey, Pugh? Hey, Doc, how you doing? Willie Pugh, I'm Peter Block. Oh, all right, how you I'm doing, a friend man? of Keith's. All right, hey, Doc, how you doing? How you doing, man? This, this is my savior. Right? Yeah, I know, he's a good guy. Yeah, he's a good guy. So tell me a little bit about your health. We dropped in on one of Key's former patients who recalled the life-saving treatment he received at Heartbeats Clinic. You take your medicines? Oh, I take them every day. Faithful. And, and, and it's just faithful every day. All right, good. But he told me if I want to live, I got to take them. Absolutely, he's right. And he, and he you listen me, to Dr. Ferdinand. Oh, I listen to him because I, <laughs> and, and, and then again, the next day I couldn't hardly breathe. And I sent my son over there. He sent me some pills over there. He said, I'm going to take care of you, man. He took care of me. And I tell anybody, that's a good man. While finding medical care in the Ninth Ward remains a challenge. Are you Rashida? I am. I'm Peter Block. Nice to meet you. Some residents like Keith's daughter, Rashida, are focusing on prevention by bringing healthier food into the neighborhood. So Rashida, give me an, an idea of how you came upon this idea. Why'd you do this? We started this as a monthly market two years ago. And then people said, we want to see more fresh produce. We need more fresh food in the, in the area. And so we decided to transition into a farmer's market. Prices are great. That's I mean, I think that's one of the draw-ins is that it's fresh, it's available. It hasn't been sitting here for yeah. weeks, you know, it's straight from the farmer's garden. Slowly but surely, the Ninth Ward is rebuilding. People are moving back. And as they do, the need for local hospitals, clinics, and cardiology practices will become even more urgent. Keith, I will tell you, I see a fair amount of optimism here. I see hope. And I think the Ward 9 is going to come back. It's going to take a while, but candidly, I think it's going to be okay. I appreciate that, Peter. You know, as an outsider and someone who's really interested, you have shown me some things that maybe I didn't appreciate because I don't see those small incremental steps. Exactly. But I will tell you this. I appreciate the fact that the American College of Cardiology and you personally have taken an interest in coming to see my neighborhood. Thanks for showing me. Thank you, Peter. The situation in New Orleans Ninth Ward serves as a reminder of what a precious resource a cardiology practice is and how quickly it can all be swept away.
For Cardi Source Video News, I'm Peter Block.